Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've filmed a video and that's just due to the fact that I have had a lot going on recently and also due to the fact that I just haven't been inspired creatively. Um, but I'm back and today I am going to be filming a video on how to achieve a natural summertime glowy look. Um, I've been really into that recently. I know in the past I've been more of a full coverage kind of person and I would wear the most makeup I could possibly fit on my face. But I've honestly like dimmed down a lot and I don't wear near as much makeup as I used to. So that's what today's video is gonna be about. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. So to start out, we wanna do a glowy base. So in order to achieve a glowy base, we need something to lay down before our foundation. So what I'm going to use is a hydrating oil. This one is by Anastasia. Um, you can really use any oil um, or like a vitamin C serum, but I'm just gonna be using this and I'm just gonna put it a little on my hand here, rub it in and then I just blot it. I don't put a lot on my t-zone because I get oily here so this is gonna make me really ooh look at that yes very shiny okay so once that is on I'm gonna go ahead and go in with foundation um, for foundation I'm going on the cheaper side I'm going to be using uh, Neutrogena and this is the Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. It's, I wouldn't call it a tinted moisturizer because it's a little more full coverage than that. I would just call it a light coverage foundation, which I don't know if that's what it is or not, but um, it also has hyaluronic acid in it, which if you didn't know holds, I believe 100 times its weight in water. So it's really good for moisturizing your skin, especially during the dry summer months. You can use pretty much any light coverage foundation you want or a full coverage, you can also dilute that down. Um, so I'm just going to pull my little mirror over here. Hopefully it's not in the shot. There we go. Okay, and I'm just gonna start by running this down my face. You don't really need a lot at first. You wanna do a lighter coverage, but you can always add more. So I just go in with a small amount and this fly is oh this fly stop it okay it really looks like i'm putting a lot but i swear it's not a lot <laughs> okay and i have been having the worst problem with acne just like in the last i would say the last few months my acne has just been like testing me but it's starting to go away now, so. I have been using Curology, and I found out about it. Um, I think it was from a YouTube video, honestly. It was probably a sponsored video. But um, you basically just go online and enter all of your information about like your skin, and you send them pictures, and they basically send you like a custom formulation for your skin, for your needs and I found it works a lot better than a lot of other stuff that I've tried, so. So we're just gonna blend this in all over. I just use stippling motions like this. I don't like to swirl it. I feel like, well, I, I do a little bit, but I feel like it makes it very streaky. As you can tell, it's just giving us like this light coverage, which if I do want more coverage, I'll go back in, which I may. This may not be enough coverage for me. The brush I'm using is the It Cosmetics. I believe it is the, oh, it says it on here. Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush, and it is brush number seven. And it has, it's dual-ended, so it has a concealer and foundation brush. I don't really use the concealer brush. I feel like it doesn't work very well, but the foundation brush is amazing. Um, if you're looking for like a cheaper alternative, I would definitely go with the Real Techniques foundation brush. They're very similar. The Real Techniques is a little more densely packed than this one, but they both work very similarly, especially for the huge price difference. I believe this one is around $50. And this one is, I wanna say around 12. I'll put the prices on the screen for you. Now that we are finished with base, 
we can go ahead into, well not base, we're gonna conceal now. That's what I meant by that. So I am using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and mine is almost gone. So we'll pray that we can get enough out of it. I'm just gonna do like a little bit, like about that much, not a lot. I used to do like huge triangles underneath my eyes. I don't know what I was thinking. Cut to like my last video, just like a tiny little bit on the eyelid because I have some veins. And then of course on the acne, but not a lot, we don't wanna do a lot. It's mainly healing right now, so there's not really anything like coming to a head. So I don't really have to worry about it. And then you can use a sponge for this. A lot of people like to use a sponge under their eyes or on their eyes, you can do that. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used before and just blend it out. I feel like it works the best for me, but whatever works best for you, go ahead and do that. And then just to set a little bit, I don't wanna set heavily. I'm just going to set lightly. So I'm just gonna use this e.l.f. HD powder and this particular powder is in shade Luminance. And I'm gonna mainly concentrate this right under the eyes to set those. I like to blur my under eyes so they aren't as, my circles aren't as prominent. So you look at the difference. Blurred, gross. So then I'm just gonna take a little bit, small amount, and just kind of do my T-zone just because it likes to get oily. I do have combination skin. I previously thought that I had dry skin, but upon further inspection, it's combination. But I will go back in with a setting spray to kind of do everything back up. So it's a little more dewy and not as matte. Okay, so the next step is going to be bronzer. Since it is a summery look, we want it to be all bronzed up, like we're ready to go to Cabo or wherever you're gonna go on vacation. I am going to be using the shade Rosewood from the Anastasia Bronzers. So I'm going to be using this Morphe brush. It is the Morphe M527 brush, and it's like a domed powder brush, I guess you could call it. I'm just gonna go in very lightly and I tap off a lot of the extra because I don't wanna look like a clown. I'm just gonna tap and I'm gonna go down kind of like the side of my cheek. I'm gonna bring in that warmth. Maybe do like a little bit on the neck. Definitely get the ears. We don't want white ears. We don't wanna look crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. I'm gonna use some of the Anastasia contour shades. I have them in like a larger palette here, so, but I'm gonna be using these right here. I'm going to be using another Morphe brush, the M405, and this is like an angled brush that I think a lot of people use for contouring in general. Um, I'm gonna go into the lightest contour shade. Just tap into it, tap off, and then I just stipple like this, and I almost place my contour where I would place highlighter with the brush, but it somehow goes lower than you would think. So I'm gonna place it about right here, if you can see that, and then just kind of tap away, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take that same brush we used under the eye, and I'm gonna go into this light yellowy pale shade. Um, it's a matte shade and I'm just gonna use a little bit of that on the brush just like that, tap it off, and then go right under the contour to kind of accentuate it. So then I'm gonna do nose contour just a little bit. We're gonna dip into the lightest gray shade that we used the first time and we're just gonna go down our nose. We don't wanna use a lot for this because we don't want a crazy looking nose like I already did earlier. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with some highlighter because we wanna kind of get that glow back in there. So for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Nicole Gruero Glow Kit. Um, you can use, obviously, any highlighter that you have at home. As long as it's, you know, pretty bright, you want something that's gonna be kind of, well, I guess it doesn't have to be that bright because it is a natural look. But I am gonna be dipping into 
the bottom middle shade glow getter right there start here so now for the eyebrows I don't want to go crazy because I want it to look kind of natural so I am going to use um, Anastasia, again, I know, um, Dip Brow Palmade in shade Ash Brown. And I'm just gonna use that on an angled brush. Next, for just a little bit of eyeshadow, I'm gonna be going in with this KKW Beauty palette, and we're gonna be using just a couple shades from here. The first shade I'm gonna go in with is this lighter shade here. And we're just gonna take a basic eyeshadow brush. I'm not really sure what kind you would call this. It is the M518 from Morphe. And we're just gonna dip into that, tap off our extra, and we're just gonna run this through the crease. Same thing to the other eye. And then with a slightly smaller brush, I'm gonna use that exact same shade and just run it on the lower lash line here. And it's just gonna help to really give some dimension to the eyes so they're not so dead looking and tired. And it will also help to open them up. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'm just gonna use that to further deepen out my crease. And I'm mainly gonna focus it from the half of the eye to the outer edge. So I'm mainly going to place it right here. Now onto mascara. I don't actually use mascara much anymore unless I'm going for a kind of a darker, more crazy full glam look. Um, most of the time I actually go for this, and this is the Dip Brow Gel from Anastasia. It is actually intended for your eyebrows, but I found that it works great for your eyelashes, and it actually keeps your eyelashes curled instead of weighing them down. So for the lip, I'm just gonna use something a little more natural, so I'm gonna go in with a Fenty Beauty lip gloss, and this is in shade Fussy. Lastly, I'm just gonna go in with some Anastasia body oil to kind of tie in the whole summertime look and I'll be back with the finished results. All right guys, that is the completed look. I love how it turned out. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.